Greetings and welcome. Today I am back in Spiral Linux and I just wanted to clarify that in my last video I found out after that this was a development release so that's why they didn't have the download links there but ironically one day after I posted this video news came out that the official releases had arrived and that if you scroll down to these links below, below here you can click on any link to their one of their ISO builds and you'll get uh, the link to their latest release of that specific desktop environment. So um, what can I say about Spiral Linux? It's a spin of Debian Linux. Debian Linux is a very stable distro and so being a spin of Debian Spiral inherits that stability. I won't go through all the apps installed. This is not an in-depth review of every app that's installed, but here I'll just go through the menu here quickly. So it does come with Firefox, ESR as the default browser. You got most of the LibreOffice suite. You got transmission for your torrents, Thunderbird for your email, and VLC Media Player for your video. Um, this I installed myself, so it doesn't come with it through our manager, file manager. And um, I also installed a few other apps. I installed Simple Screen Recorder and something else, I think, but I forget now. Let's check my history. Okay, Thuner Simple Screen Recorder. I guess that's it. Now this command I pasted, I haven't run it yet, but um, like I said earlier, it does inherit the stability of Debian, but it also inherited a bug that comes with the Debian ISOs that have the Calamari's installer. So I first discovered this bug in Peppermint OS. And so if I type this command here, so, uh, not that, that one, sorry, my mistake. Where is it? Okay, app search RASP firmware. So this is firmware for the Raspberry Pi. So if I type that and press enter, you'll see that has Raspberry Pi firmware installed. Now I don't have a Raspberry Pi at my home and um, this is definitely a bug and it actually interferes with installation of proprietary NVIDIA drivers. So to fix that, you do this command here. I have it in my shortcuts. So it's sudo apt auto remove dash dash purge Raspberry Pi firmware. And then I just update to, to boot. So I'm gonna run that to get rid of that. Enter my password. And then after this, I have to uh, reboot to get rid of those drivers. So I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. It's not gonna take too long doing this command, but I'm gonna pause the video and come back after this is done and I've rebooted. Okay, so I'm back. The system has been rebooted. The Raspberry Pi firmware has been removed. And in this episode, I'm gonna be using Spiral Linux, the GNOME version, to show you how I use the Debian, or the Debian proprietary and video drivers that come with Debian or in the Debian repositories, I should say, and be installing them and getting them to work with Steam. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a sudo apt install NVIDIA dash detect because Debian has several different NVIDIA drivers depending on how old or new your NVIDIA card is. And so after you install this, you would run the command NVIDIA dash detect and it will tell you what command you should be running to install the appropriate driver for your specific NVIDIA card. So for my NVIDIA card, you can see here it checked it checked my graphics card and it identified it as the GTX 1650 and it's recommending I use this package to install NVIDIA driver. So if I install this package, however, this will get the NVIDIA driver installed and running on your system, but it's not the entire 
package. There are missing pieces that need to be added to actually get it to work with Steam. I'm gonna go to a script file that I made. And so it's nothing fancy, it's just a bunch of commands uh, all typed in succession. So instead of typing all the commands one at a time, I added them all to a script. So you can do these in individually, but that would take a lot longer. So I re renamed the script to this, and then I'm gonna run it in the terminal. I will also keep a copy in the description so you can cut and paste this command and create a script out of it. So I'm gonna open the terminal now. And when I do an ls, you can see the script is right here. It's not executable right now, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do a sudo bash nvidia dash install dot sh. So it'll run it with bash. So all bash is gonna do is just gonna go through this file and install these things one at a time. So let's do it now. I don't think I'm gonna um, fast forward the video in this step here just because I wanna see how long it takes and it shouldn't take that long. Hopefully it'll take less than two minutes but I just want you guys to see the entire process. If you're bored, you can fast forward. I would be bored too. <laughs> If you hear any audio in the background, that's my wife watching TV in the living room. I can't really tell her to be quiet. I could, but she would get mad at me. And as they say, happy life, happy wife. Or is that backwards? I think I got it backwards. I guess I should work on that. Okay, so that took Quite a bit longer than I thought. I thought it would be like maybe two minutes or so, but um, I did end up cutting the end part. When it started hanging at the 97%, I thought, no, this is taking too long. I'm not gonna make you guys suffer and go through all the waiting that I went through. So uh, in the end, everything did install, but I had this error message here, possible missing firmware for Nouveau. From here, I'm gonna have to do a reboot so that it unloads the original video driver and loads up the NVIDIA proprietary driver. So I will be back. Okay, I'm back. So if I go to my menu and I search for Steam, you can see I installed Steam plus a Steam game already. Now in the beginning, you won't have this obviously. So what you'll have is an icon called Steam steam dash installer so you click that and steam will start to be installed you enter your username and password if you don't have one set it up obviously and then you can start downloading your games so i did try it out um, this game here dota 2 when i clicked on it with my script i found that it would start to run like steam would launch and everything but the game would not actually load so I'm going to show you here. So it looks like it's running and then it stops. If I hit it again, it looks like it's running. I skip the Vulcan shaders and then for some reason it stops running. So now I'm going to exit this. I'm going to exit Steam. Yeah, I took out these and it didn't seem to work. So I'm going to add it back onto the script and uh, we'll see what happens. So that's these are the commands that are, have been missing. 
and I'm gonna run it now not sure if I'm gonna need a reboot or not but we'll try it without a reboot first if it doesn't work then I guess I'll have to restart okay so that's installed gonna run steam again and fingers crossed hopefully everything works or I'm gonna have to scrap this video updating I just updated what the heck okay I'll be back guys okay so I'm back obviously I can't read it said validating not updating but nevertheless it's completed and we're gonna launch it now we'll skip the Vulcan shaders and fingers crossed I skipped through the loading part it does take some time because my home drive is on a, an older spin drive it's an older two terabyte spin drive which is much slower than the SSD portion that it boots up in okay so those who know this game I don't know many who are watching who know this game but these are the rankings so you can see my son right now is ranked what are you ranked my son he's ranked level divine so and he's working his he's a three-star divine once he passes five stars the six star will be, be be immortal there's no six star so after five stars you become immortal and for reference I'm at the I'm always at the herald slash guardian uh, phase and I've been doing this running this game for many many years and my son just leveled up in like eight months and that's much like a prodigy in this game so I'm hoping he'll become immortal and maybe one day even a professional at this game but for me the dream has died on that but I like to play it for fun so I like to play this game in unranked unranked mode and I play it in turbo mode which usually lasts half an hour my son likes to play in a ranked uh, ranked mode and this usually lasts twice as long I'm not going to show you there's I'm not going to show you everything I'm not going to go through all the gameplay it's going to take too long but these are all the characters so many abilities it's an amazing game uh, it's free to download and the way they make money basically is you spend money on custom skins that they offer so I did put some money into this game back in the day but now uh, no more money for skins for me but I love this game still and I haven't played it lately because I'm into making my YouTube channel better but uh, after some time I will definitely get back into it but today I'm just testing it out so that's how you install Steam with the Debian 12 Nvidia drivers and hopefully that will work for you like I said I'll put a link to the script in the description so you can just copy it and run it yourself but please note that it may not work for you depending on your card. So if you haven't checked out Spiral Linux, it's a very good Debian spin. Is it the best Debian based Linux distro I tried? I tried quite a few good ones. Linux Mint Debian Edition is good. But Linux Mint Debian Edition right now only has cinnamon. So this one has, uh, I don't know, at least six. I didn't really count. but. Uh, quite a few desktop environments for you to choose from so once again this is a solid distro guys if you like Debian but just want something with a different look and feel to it there's multiple desktop environments to choose from that have been pre-customized for you and I just want to say thank you to the developer of this distro for reaching out for me in the comments of the last video great job I hope you continue on with your work on this if I could make a suggestion, this distro is lacking in the wallpaper department. Maybe one or two extra wallpapers from pexels.com or something of that nature would be nice. It's a small thing to add, but sometimes wallpapers do make a big difference. But I don't want to ramble on too much, so I'm going to end this session for today. So until next time, guys, take care, everybody.